Hi, my name is Hermit in the Forest. This is my unboxing of Quest for Glory Shadows of Darkness. This is fourth game in the famous Quest for Glory series. A hero is transported by some unknown means to the magical land of Mordavia. This land is inspired by Eastern European mythology and legends. So you will meet classic Eastern European monsters in there. And in this game you have to prevent uh, summoning of some powerful demon into the world, into the land. The gameplay is the same as in all Quest for Glory games, so it's a combination between role-playing and point-and-click adventuring. There also is a combat and you can choose classes, so it's something in between adventure and role-playing game. Well, let's take a look at the box art. It's a beautiful big box. It's really big. Wow. Shadows of darkness. Here is the hero. Well, let's turn the box around and see the backside for some pictures from the game and text about the game. Oh, here is the character creation screen. Very nice. Now let's open the box and see what is inside. First of all, there is the game. It comes on three and a half inches discs. As you can, I hope you can see it. This for Windows 3.1 or MS DOS as well. And this is version 1.0. Now there is one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. So uh, nine discs with this game. I also have a patch disc that updates the game to version one one a. This was probably bought later. It wasn't part of the box, but. Came later now. Here is combat reference card. Oh, here is in-game screen and legend. So here is the combat present and how to fight in this game. Well, and keyboard controls of combat. Good. What's next? Here are some advertisements. Uh, here's the advertisement for a hint line. Here is advertisement for some competition. Yeah, and registration card also. Here it is, registration card. Now what's this? Uh, a letter from Sierra thanking for purchasing the game. Good. Another advertisement for yeah, Cyberman, that's some mouse that we saw in the combat leaflet. Ok, 
Okay. What's next here is Sierra game menu. So menu for this game. Take a look at the table of contents. How to read the menu and here we get to starting the game. Installation. For MS-DOS and Windows. And for Mac as well. How to play the game using the mouse. How to play the game with a keyboard and with a joystick. Now we get to the icons. Inventory Options Saving the game Tips for adventures Now some technical help Customer service and technical support. No risk guarantee. That was a very nice feature of Sierra Games. Good, so that's the menu. What's next? Technical guide. Oh, nice picture. Here are the credits for this game. And table of contents of this guide. Now, how many menus? Yeah, there are three in total. What each of the menus include, what they have inside of them. Okay, what is Quest for Glory? So, some introduction about the series. Something about the story. Here we get to creating a character. Using a character, here are the character classes. Fighter, Magic User and Thief. Or the Paladin, the bonus character. Skills and Abilities. Here they are. Status bar, some other bars. Well, a lot of interesting info, something about conversation, and also a lot of pictures in the game from the game in this manual. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. 
Your combat keys. Wow. And here are notes if you wanted to make while playing the game. And the last thing is this manual journal of a hero. Special Halloween's issue. Okay. Now here's table of contents. Again on the right side there are credits. Well, these are some articles. Regarding the story, who is who in the Wizard's world? Yeah, <laughs> this is basically some articles enhancing the storytelling. Confessions of Master Thief. Oh, nice pictures. Yeah, and more articles. Oh, what's this? Necrotaur. So some undead Minotaurus, probably. Nice, nice enemies. Here is also advertisement for Cluebook to this game. And on the back side, advertisement for the previous Quest for Glory. Well, and that is all that was in the box. I thank you very much for watching this video.